did not know there was a strike going on. Um, we took buttons from one of the volunteers passing out buttons. So this is, I pinned it to my jacket right here. I did not have the shirt on at first. We walked in, we went through security. They asked us if we were part of the strike and we said no. Some security guy came and pulled us off to the side. After we went to the bathroom. After we went to the bathroom. And he was like, you're out. I already talked to people above me. And I see that on your shirt. I'm part of the show. Like, you're out. No questions asked. And I was like, well, we can take the buttons off. And he was like, no, you're out. Get out. Go. And he started to like push us toward the door. Yeah. He was very, he was very aggressive. aggressive. So disheartening and so disrespectful to our writers. Just, you wouldn't, I wouldn't have expected that from Drew. And you can, anyone. Yeah, you can tell after reading the statement and after seeing how her crew handles things on her set that they, they truly don't care. A couple of disappointed fans and Drew Barrymore. And as you can see, this is how those things work, Michael. She said, I would have expected from someone else, but not Drew Barrymore. <laughs> Drew Barrymore was not kicking people out of this show. But, but, I don't <laughs> but her show facilitated that. Right. But but I don't understand some of this guy's story here. Like he he was a fan. He just happens to be wearing a Writers Guild show and he said t shirt and pin and he doesn't even know about the strike. Is that yeah, what he, he Apparently he was walking up, didn't know there was a strike. Some of the strikers were like, yo, you're gonna go into that show? We're striking and handed him some pins. So they said, "Oh, sure, we'll slap that on because maybe they just learned but, about it. But the, the shirt was a Writer's Guild t-shirt, was it not? I think they gave him all the swag. No, right. I think he changed into it after they kicked his ass out. And then that's when he's like, I'm full boat. Because what they did say was afterwards they went and joined the strike. Right. Because they were very upset and now Drew has, uh, has Lost their, at least to a degree, has lost their respect. A little bit and more though, because I yeah. missed what was probably an amazing Drew Barrymore show. <laughs> Who knows what happened? I guess we're gonna have to wait to find out if you're willing to support such a thing. Uh, here's more from what the Drew Barrymore show said about that altercation, because this could look bad. They said it's our policy to welcome everyone to our show tapings. And due to heightened security concerns today, we regret that two audience members were not permitted to attend or were not allowed access. Drew was completely unaware of the incident, and we are in the process of reaching out to the affected audience members to offer them new tickets. That's what it's supposed to. <laughs> Come on back, bro. We're gonna kick your ass out again. Can't um, wait. Oh, this is what I was mentioning. The two other, the two, uh, the audience members, they later joined the picket lines outside, donning those WGA shirts. Uh, and that gentleman's last name is Trzik. He said that. Uh, and if they think we're part of the strike, we might as well be. Is what Carter added as she signed up for tickets as a fan of Barrymore, but now has been disheartened by that experience. And she pointed that out. And she's alarmed and disheartened by the process of how they've been treated this way. But this is what I was talking about with the uh, with the writer. Last part about this. Her name is Eliz Co. She's one of the co-head writers of the show. And she saw co-workers walking in as she was striking out front on Monday. But she said there's mutual support among them because I guess she understands what it is that they're doing, whichever one of those workers that there were. She says, I think it's such a complicated issue. I think that Drew cares about the show. She cares about the crew, she cares about us. She cares about everything and I think that she made the best decision that she could given all those things. And I feel like coming out here today is not a personal thing at all. It's really the opposite, it's a collective thing. It's what, again, this is her name is Liz Co. And she added that it's the overall fight for a more fair contract that she's looking for. And I think they asked them other follow ups whether or not they're gonna come back to the show and write if things settle in better and she's, I think she or one of them said no comment on that. So who knows? At this point, uh, when something like that happens, even if you get it back or or you end up looking better at the end of it, you still might lose some talented writers and people that actually made your show. Your show. Um, we'll follow this close this show this uh, this story tightly as things develop. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.